Good morning. Let us see today Stern Warmer equation. How the Stern Warmer equation is derived, and we will see determination of lifetime of the excited state species. How long the excited state species spend in the excited state? That is the lifetime. Okay, now this is very very important. I have solved a problem as to gate. Um, it is very very important for gate and also jab, CSA, etc. Stern Volmer equation deals with the deals with the kinetics of photosynthetic process. He derived the kinetic equation for the photosynthetic process. Let us see what is fluorescence quenching, quenching of fluorescence. It involves four steps. It involves four steps. I have given here in the first step. The first step is called activation process. In the first step, when a light of photon of energy H d one falls on the molecule photosensitized, it absorbs the energy. It absorbs energy and it goes to the excited state. It goes to the excited state. Right? From the excited state, it can decay. It can decay through fluorescence. Fluorescence. Process, okay, or through internal quenching process, or in the presence of external quencher Q, okay. Now, this is the this is the rate of fluorescence decay. It gives the where K one is the rate constant for the where K one is the rate constant for the fluorescence decay. K two is the rate constant for the internal quenching process. The K3 is the rate constant for the external quenching process. Applying steady state approximation to A star, excited state species is very very unstable. The absorbed light, the absorbed light undergoes the absorbed light undergoes rate of fluorescence decay. Fluorescence decay. Therefore, the rate of fluorescence, rate of fluorescence is equal to K1 concentration of A star plus the rate of internal quenching K2 concentration of A star and plus K3 the rate of external quenching process the rate of external quenching process is K3 A star Q. Okay, the absorbed light process these three processes absorbed light uh, the intensity of light absorbed leads to these three processes. Okay, the A is called photosensitizer. The well-known photosensitizer is fluorophyll. Fluorophyll is a well-known photosensitizer, and oxygen is a quencher in photosynthesis. For example, the quantum yield. What is the quantum yield for fluorescence? Okay, it is equal to also P Q. The quantum yield for fluorescence in the presence of quencher equal to I F by I A. IF is the intensity of fluorescence emission. Intensity of fluorescence emission. IA is the intensity of light absorbed. Intensity of light absorbed. Therefore, equal to the intensity of fluorescence is directly proportional to the rate of fluorescence decay. Rate of fluorescence decay. K1 concentration of A star divided by this. Therefore, now let us take A star is common. In both numerator and denominator, therefore, let us take A star out, it will be cancelled. Therefore, we will get the equation 2. 1 is converted into 2. Now, when, when there is no quencher, when there is no quencher, this is in the presence of quencher, when Q equal to 0, in the absence of quencher, then Q concentration of Q equal to 0, this equation 2 is reduced into K1 by K1 plus K2. This is nothing but the quantum yield for fluorescence in the absence of quencher. This is P0 is nothing but quantum yield of fluorescence only in the absence of quencher. Okay, now let us take a 3 by 2 ratio. 3 by 2 ratio, P0 by Pf, then K1 by K, K1 plus K2. It becomes this is divided. Opposite K1 will become in the numerator, uh, K1 plus K2 will become in the numerator and K1 will be the denominator. Therefore, K1, K1 get cancelled. K1 plus K2 divided by K1 plus K2. Similarly, K3 concentration of Q divided by K1 plus K2. Therefore, this will get 1. 
P0 by Pf equal to 1 plus A3 concentration of the sequential divided by A1 plus A2. The lifetime actually uh, from the rate constant, the lifetime can be easily obtained by taking inverse the lifetime of the excited state P0 is equal to the this rate constant. For example, if there is only the fluorescence decay, then the lifetime of the species is equal to 1 by 3. Because in the absence of quenches, there are two processes, therefore, tau equal to 1 by A1 plus A2. On substituting tau here for 1 by 1 K plus A, K1 plus A2, then 1 plus K3 tau concentration of M. This equation is called third Wallman equation. Okay. This is a straight line equation. This is a straight line equation y equal to mx. This is y equal to y equal to this is mx plus x. Okay. Therefore, m on plotting the plot of p naught by p f versus concentration of the quencher will give you a straight line with the slope m equal to k3 tau, where k3 tau is called a term over constant. From the slope, we can determine the lifetime of the excited state species. Okay. So, I have solved a problem asked in weight using this term over equation. Uh, please understand. Thank you for watching.